today we're going to be checking out some viral sell me this pen TikToks. There is a ton of sales advice on TikTok. We post a ton ourselves. Check us out on sales feed on TikTok. However, one category of sales advice is bigger than all the rest. Creators who have never sold before are creating videos on how to sell a pen. Sell Me This Pen was popularized by the film Wolf of Wall Street, where Leonardo DiCaprio holds out a pen and says, sell this to me, and then lets people try and sell the pen. And the first reaction people do is start talking about the pen. When in reality, they should take away the pen and ask someone to write down their name. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. First one we've got is the man himself, Jordan Belfort, on how to sell the pen. Let's take a look. If you ask someone who's not a professional salesman, who doesn't have the right instincts, they'll start actually trying to sell you a pen. This pen is great. This pen writes upside down. It's the best value for its money. This pen will last forever. Buy this pen. Here's the thing. The only one rational thing you can do when someone says, sell me this pen, and that is to start asking them questions. So tell me, how long have you been in the market for a pen? Yeah, so what Jordan's saying here is exactly what a lot of people get wrong when they're asked to sell the pen. They start talking about the pen and saying how great the pen is, but what you should be doing really is asking questions. So you ask questions. If I ask someone, hey, so how long have you been in the market for a pen? They say, oh, I'm not looking for a pen. Great, have a nice day. I don't sell people the things that people aren't looking for. Yeah, so I would say he's pretty much 100% right. Jordan Belfort is someone who's got a mixed past. I don't think he's a great person, bit of a criminal. And he had me all the way right until the end there. So he said, oh, are you in the market for a pen? And they said, no. Oh, well, I don't sell people stuff they don't need. Well, that's true to an extent, but the whole reason cold calling exists is to find people who might not be in the market for what you're selling, but may still need it. And the only way you do that is by asking them questions about their current situation. Like Jordan said, you ask them questions and that uncovers that they might actually need a new pen, even though they weren't actively looking for one. That's why outbound sales exists. Let's check out another one. This is the best answer to the sell me this pen problem. All right. So the guy starts off saying this is the best answer. So that's, that's a red flag to me, but we'll see. Problem. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to sell anything. Let's so this, this gentleman, Payday Pursuit, is saying that by the end of this video, I'll be able to sell anyone anything. I'll tell you straight up of the way, you shouldn't be able to sell everyone everything because not everyone needs what you're selling. If, you, if you're a fit for everyone, then you wouldn't need salespeople because everyone, everyone would just buy it already, immediately. A phone is a fit for everyone to a certain extent. Everyone goes and buys a phone. You don't need to be sold a phone. The whole beauty of sales is that not everyone will be a fit. And that's what makes some customers a really good fit and the reason why they should buy because they need your solution. But anyway, let's have a look at what this guy has to say. He's got 294,000 followers. Kevin Jackson, financial education side hustles, flex. Uh, okay, let's see what he has to say. Sir, when was the last time you used a pen? Probably this morning. All right, so we start off with a situational question. That's good. Well, what'd you use it on? A sales contract with a client. That's a pretty big moment. Yeah, picture this. And then he said a statement, that's a pretty big moment. Okay, it's fair. It's, it's, maybe I would say, that seems like a big, pretty big moment. All you need is that signature. They asked for a pen. Now, are you really going to hand them that crusty, chewed on Bic pen that you probably got for free from the bank? Or would you rather hand them this premium pen Whoa, that has only been touched okay. by you? So we went from asking some situational questions straight into a pitch. Like... Sure, he's using some storytelling skills, but that doesn't mean this person's ready to buy a pen. Most people, if you called them and had this conversation, they'd laugh you at the front door. That person might have an emotional attachment to that pen. You don't know that pen isn't working for them. You haven't uncovered enough of a problem yet to, to come in and try and present your solution. So this is just like, he's lost me already. Try it. If you're not happy, I'll take it back risk-free. Sir, this is a nerf dart. This isn't practical. In real life days, you can't guarantee every product you sell. In software sales, for example, I could just give them my software and say, try it, and if it doesn't work, then we'll, we'll give you your money back. That's not how it works. You've got to build that need. You've got to establish fit. You've got to make sure you're solving a real problem, and then the customer's going to be motivated to use your product. He wins points for making a little bit of a joke at the end there. Um, but yeah, Payday Pursuit, uh, you asked three questions and went to pitch slapping someone. That's not selling. Whoa, 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 stop for a second. Before we watch any more TikToks, we're gonna have to tell you about our newsletter. SalesFeed runs a weekly newsletter filled with the best B2B sales tips, advice, and humor videos. Head on over to salesfeedmedia.com and keep an eye on your inbox every Wednesday for the best sales newsletter out there. Am I, am I allowed to say that? A editor, can you just like say, is that a legal claim for me to make? Um, cool. Can one of you sell me this pen? I will give you $1.
All right, we've got Aiden Wet. He's out in public and he says, can you sell one of you, one of you kids, sell me this pen and I'll give you $1? Frankly, the only people that would take him up on this offer are kids, because $1 isn't worth five minutes of my time. Sell you it? Sell me this pen. It's called his pen. Oh yeah, I'm, I have like 400 pen. Sell me the pen. Hit it. You see? I can sell you the pen right now. Okay, so, uh, pen. Okay, no, okay. no, 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 no. See, this is how- Hey, you'll get your turn. Write it. Okay, give me the pen. We have an ink that lacked last. If you can sell the pen better than he can sell the pen, I'll give whoever sells the pen the best a dollar. How about okay, that? Okay, Run it. Hey, can you write my uh, why do you see offering a dollar like it's some grand prize? At least give them ten dollars so they can buy some lunch. Hey, can you write my write your name down on a piece of paper? Yeah, I got my own. What's pen. he wearing? He's wearing like a suit with like a, a turtleneck, like Steve Jobs turtleneck, and then plaid trousers. He's like dressed like a like a like a philanthropist, like billionaire. Why, why is this guy? This got two million views. Oh, here he is again. Same guy, Aiden Wet, he's back. Sell me this pen in 15 seconds, I'll give you one dollar. This pen is not only something that you can write with, yeah. but it's something that creates ideas. Just on a small piece of paper, create a story, you can create a movie. It's incredible. This is the most stick. Dit is echt de beste pen. Hè? Hij schrijft ondersteboven, hij schrijft onder water, hij ligt lekker in de hand. En jij kan hem kopen voor maar 1 euro. Yes! Nee, dank je. Ik don't speak German. I don't have a clue what this guy is saying. <laughs> Write your name down for me, will you? Write my name down? Why? Please humor me. Oh, I see. So you as a salesperson could create an artificial demand for pens by asking me to write my name down. Got it. Supply and demand, my friend. Demand? That's your sales pitch? Guess what? I never write anything down. I haven't used a pen in five years. I, I use a notes app on my phone. I mean, I don't, I don't really disagree with this guy. I just think like, you gotta, yeah. I liked, I liked what you said, like, hey, you don't even know what I'm using. That's, that's why you've got to ask questions, right? So like, if you try and sell someone a pen when they're someone who just uses an iPhone and don't write anything down, then like, you're just gonna embarrass yourself, right? So then you gotta ask questions. Okay, how's the iPhone doing? Oh, well, what happens when your iPhone's out of battery? What happens when you're in a meeting and you don't wanna look rude because you're tapping away on your phone? Creating a problem. Sell me this pen marketing edition. Let's have a look what Nicholas has got. Sell me this pen. This pen, writing instrument, pencil alternative, ballpoint pen. I'll give you this pen for free, but I'll need your email address. It's not about the pen. First, ask yourself, why do you even want the pen? And who wants the pen? All right, that was pretty good. Marketing jokes are tight, let's be honest, all right? I've said all that stuff, I've critiqued a bunch of people who are trying to sell the pen. It would only be fair if I put the money where my mouth is and try and sell a pen to myself because apparently that's how you do it. Sell me this pen. All right then, uh, before we get started, would you be happy for me to spend a couple of minutes asking you some questions to see if this pen would be a good fit for you? Are you currently looking for a new pen? And what's the reason you're looking for a new pen? I'm sorry to hear that your, your current pen there isn't very comfortable. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, when I write for extended periods of time, it um, gives me sores on my hand. See, so just here. What's the reason you think that keeps happening? So your pen is too large, it becomes uncomfortable, which causes sores on your hands. Have I got that right? And what happens when you get these sores on your hands? Can you give me an example of maybe some of the more important notes that you take? Right, and what happens when you don't take notes during those meetings? What's an average client worth to you? And how often does the, uh, the note situation happen? How do you feel about the fact that something as simple as a pen is potentially causing you to miss out on upwards of $150,000 a year. Of course, I would be frustrated too. What would you do with $150,000 a year if you had it? Look, we sell this pen and uh, it's got hundreds of bells and whistles, but rather than waste time showing you all of those, I think the most important thing to you right now seems to be comfort. Um, so it's a lot thinner than the current pen you're holding so that you can stay comfortable while writing for long periods of time. Would you say that would solve the comfort issue that you mentioned earlier? In that case, would you be totally opposed for me to set you up with one of those pens today? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Great doing business with you. Could I ask you a quick favor? Do you happen to know anyone who's a bit like you who could benefit from talking to me about pens? All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that. Please do let me know who do you think did it best? Which of these pen sellers would you be buying pens from? And if you did enjoy this video and you're not already, be sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video. It helps us out a ton. All right, sellers, I'll see you next time. Oh, that's rude. Peace.